Hiya folks, you okay? Um, just got another unboxing for you today. Um, I, a few months ago, I had to sell my Knox uh, Urban Pro uh, shirt, jacket, um, because it was too big for me. Um, and I ended up, um, if I had crashed that thing, it, it was too big, it would have just ripped up, it would have been horrible. So I ended up selling that. Um, and been trying to fund a new one kind of since really. Um, so that was a 5XL uh, and I've gone down to an XL. Um, I would have gone to a large but I've still got my Climb uh, air vest to put underneath it. Um, th this new version, this is the, this is the Mark II. Um, this has got more stretch paneling and stuff. So what I'm just gonna do, do my usual unboxing and fitting so that if you're a similar build size to me, you get an understanding as to what will fit and what won't. Uh, so without further ado, let's Cut this fucker open, yeah. Right. Bang. It's also, you know, Knox are a really cool. You know, Knox are a very good company for like. Uh, they're quite sort of, you know, I said progressive. They're, they're dead. They're fancy, basically. They're, they're dead fancy, and they're like the apple of uh, of motorbike uh, gear. So I've gone with the same colour, just because I really like, I like the grey, I like wearing lighter gear, just because it makes me safer, you know, just people can see me more, and uh, there we go, so there's a big, another, another massive box to uh, add to the collection. That might do me for my uh, thingy, actually. Right, here we go. <laughs> so, hopefully you can see this, I'm sure you can. Coming in this nice package. So do I. Ooh, nice wooden hanger. There's the little things that people notice, isn't it, eh? And, uh, and there we go. I'm going Pro Mark Two. Uh, like I said, I really did miss my other one. Automatically, I, already I'm seeing changes that this is a different material than the last one. There's more stretching, there's more stretch panelling underneath the arms and across. And uh, yeah, there's the inside. You got, you know, I, I had this jacket for years, right? And I, I didn't realise there were pockets inside because I was always fiddling around trying to find a pocket so obviously a pocket here was not big enough for a lot of things didn't realize there were two pockets here and uh, there's a back pocket <laughs> I never realized that so I'm an idiot basically it's a nice little map pocket so there's the rear wink wink there's the front and what I'll do now is I'll, uh, so I'll crack it open whack it on let you see what how it fits so yeah stay tuned right here we go so here it is I really like that hanger. Look at that. See, I'm, I'm an archer, me, and that reminds me of a uh, of a Mongolian bow. <laughs> God, I'm weird. Right. The back protector is now in the top, rather than the bottom. Used to be able to put it in via the bottom. Uh, I won't be needing that because I'll be uh, I'll be using the the air vest, obviously. But they're really, really nice back pads then. Got a shoulder padding, it's got arm, full arm, elbow padding, etc. It's got a cool new badge there, actually. I didn't realise that. There's a nice new badge. Um, some of the stitching's come undone, but let's burn that off. And here we go. This is an XL on a 42 inch chest. You can tell already that's tight, Jesus. It's tighter than the last one, absolutely. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, it makes me realise how uh, how big the other one actually was on me because this is uh, well. First of all, the um, the the loop has been stitched onto the wrong side, I think, because that one fits me. Oh, I don't know, you know. Just whacking that up there. You look at that. The uh, it's been stitched onto the wrong side. So I've now got this big gap here, whereas that one is stitched on properly, straight down. This one has been stitched too far over to this way. It's very strange. Uh, yeah. 
doesn't feel right at all but anyway right so here's this and then the zip that fits quite snug actually very tight oh there's some stuff in the back here so this, as soon as i take the um if i take the back protector out it will be a little bit less wouldn't it so uh that's really annoying that because look where the look where the, the tag is there that's on the top of my hand so it's almost like i have to to put it through this here Whereas this one is where my thumb is. A bit weird that actually. Um, but cool. Let me just let me just tuck my shirt in so there's nothing poking out. Just so you get a better idea as to what it what it looks like. It, it's it's this fits me really nicely. I'm just a bit worried about uh, it's 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 quite snug. It's meant to be quite snug. But with the airbag going underneath, not sure this is going to work. But but hey, because hey. if I've still got a little bit of weight to lose, which I do. You know, there you go. Now I would be able to get further back, but these bloody doors are in the way. Right, hopefully that's a bit of a better angle. Hopefully this door doesn't fall because it's heavy. There you go. It, 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 it's snug, as in it feels like it fits me really well. Feels like it. Um, it kind of moulds to my body a bit. It, a bit better than the old one did, at least, because the old one was. It was, I forgot any pictures, I'll put them up, but that was way too big. It fits amazingly. The, the shoulder pads fit in just exactly the right place. The arm and elbow protectors are in exactly the, exactly the right place. The only thing that I find with these, with these types of jackets is that XL or a large, for example, is, um, is the sleeves are a bit big. You can get quite a lot down there. Uh, which is kind of annoying to be honest. It's uh, it's very, I don't know. It, like on my on my race suit, it's like everything fits me fine. But then the sleeves are like out here. This I don't know why, but because um, I put my gloves over the sleeves, you see, rather than under. But here's a here's a profile view for you. Anyway, I, I'm liking this already. I'm liking this a lot. I mean, there's like I said, the stretch paneling underneath, all down here all the way up so there shouldn't be any problem and the same here as well and they've changed this this was denim on the last one would have been nice to have that denim uh but unfortunately you don't you don't get, don't get much of a choice um but even with the back protector in it as well and this is just a standalone thing it might be all right just for pottering about without the, the the air vest on but but we'll see so what i'll do now is i'll try the air vest on as well um, and we'll see what happens so I've got the airbag, air vest, airbag, whatever. I'm going to take the back protector out. God, I really like these back protectors, you know, they're so soft. They just they just feel nice. Take that as what as what you want, but they just they just so I don't know, it's like just like jelly, it's just really cool. Anyway. So I'll take that off. And uh, I'll actually try it without without the back protector in, see if it makes much of a difference in terms of the actual fit itself. Which it does. Massive difference, actually. Now, you've got a Velcro in here, by the way, for like a chest protector. Same material as that, but I'm not going to need one of those with an air vest, though. Yeah, that's got loads more room. Loads more room. So let's try it on with the jacket. So here's the Climb AI-1. Quite thick of a jacket, this, so I'm not sure if it's gonna, gonna fit very well. But that's what we're doing this video for, isn't it? Eh? So let's have a look. Uh, will I need the shoulder pads? I think these are stitched in, so I oh no, you can take them out now. You can take the shoulder pads out now if you want. That's pretty cool. If I can get away with having them in, I will do. Bit of a tight squeeze already, this, but but hey. Because I've always been a bit paranoid about jackets like this on their own. I mean, yes, they're protective, yes, they're abrasive, but it's very thin material, and I fear of snapping bones and stuff. Right, so he's zipping it up. Tight. 
I say tight, it's snug. Definitely snug. You can feel a bit more pressure in the back. I'm sure you can see the outline of the, of the box, uh, the back area there. Um, but it it does fit, it does fit, you know, it's it's snug, snug as a bug that. I'm not going to go anywhere in this, as in, I'm, it's not going to come off me. The I have another fear of bike gear of it just ripping off me. You know, if you get caught on a bit of tarmac and it just peels you off kind of thing. But that, you know, the back is a bit bulky. You can still definitely see it through there. But um, taking that out has definitely made a difference because that's quite thick. Um, although I really actually do like that. <laughs> I like this quite a lot. So for the days when I'm just going to go posturing about to the shops or whatnot, I'll put this in and not use the airbag um, if I'm feeling, you know, stupid. Uh, I just like feeling this. It's really nice. But there you go. There's what it is. So there's what this uh, Knox Mark uh, Urban Pro Mark II looks like and is fitting for a 42-inch chest, 14 stone-ish guy uh, with gear. Um, with an XL, you could do with going a size up, in my opinion, because there's there's very little room here. I mean, there's there's because it's stretch panel. It's probably more than I think, and you this will sure it'll be fine. But with a little bit more weight left to lose yet around this area, and there's not look much going to come off my chest. So it's 42 inch and 42 inch here. So I'm pretty strict, like a barrel, like a sausage, basically me at the minute. Um, and then it goes down in my hips to like a 34. Um, so that's what it looks like I hope you appreciate these videos I hope you enjoy them or whatever and uh, until the next one I'm, I'll do a review of this of course um, I'm not sure what's going to happen about this thing because that's really annoying uh, compared to it being on the side there it's on the back of my hand there so I might have to exchange that because that's going to be a massive pain for me to be honest but anyway uh, I shall see you very very soon and uh, thank you very much for watching